In mathematics, sequences is basically a collection of mathematical lists in a specific order. And today we're going to evaluate some sequence and find its specific number of terms. And also later on, we're going to be working on factorials. Now, in my first example, we're going to be writing the first four terms of the following sequence. So for letter A, my sequence is given by A sub n equal to 3n minus 2. And to produce the first four terms of your sequence, all you need to do is to plug in the value of 1, 2, 3, and 4 to your n so you can find the value or the term for it for each given sequence. So for a sub, a sub 1, which is basically your first term, you replace n by 1, so you'll have 3 times 1 minus 2 equal to 1. So if you want to find a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, just replace n by those corresponding number, and for the first four terms of the sequence 3n minus 2, it will give you 1, 4, 7, and 10. So the first four terms of 3n minus 2 is 1, 4, 7, and 10. Now for letter B, my sequence is given by a sub n equal to 3 plus negative 1 raised to n. Now my n is my exponent, and to evaluate the sequence, just like what I did on letter A, I'm going to replace my n by the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, because we are required to write the first four terms. Now what if you're required to write the first 238 terms? So that means you're going to write or you're going to find all 238 terms in your sequence by substitution. But for now, let's just find the first four terms. So you have a sub 1, so it will replace n by 1, so you'll have 3 plus negative 1 raised to 1, and negative 1 raised to 1 is negative 3, so 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Now for a sub 2, it's equal to 3 plus negative 1 raised to 2, and negative 1 raised to 2 it will give you positive 1, so 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So for a sub 3 and a sub 4, just replace n by 3 and 4, and you'll get 2 and 4. Now for this particular sequence, the first four term, well, the first four terms are two, four, two, four, and that's how we evaluate the number of terms that we're supposed to find by using our sequence. So it's basically just using direct substitution to your formula to be able to produce those numbers. Now for this next example, we're going to be working with factorial. Now factorial notation is given by this no mathematical notation, the exclamation point, and it's basically telling you that if n is a positive integer, then n factorial is equal to 1 times 2 times 3 all the way through n minus 1 times n. Now to use this formula in our specific examples of some numbers with factorial notation. For number one, zero factorial is equal to one. That's one of the properties of factorial that you need to remember, that zero factorial is actually equal to one. It's like a number raised to an exponent is not equal to zero, it's equal to one. So not all zero will give you zero, and in factorial notation, zero factorial is equal to one. Now for one factorial, one factorial is equal to one, as well. And for 2 factorial, you will use the formula to show that we'll have 1 times 2, which is the last number or the specific number that we are evaluating with. So it's equal to 2. And for 3 factorial, we have 1 times 2 times 3 equal to 6. And for 4 factorial, it's equal to 24. And for 5 factorial, it's, it's equal to 120. And that's, what, that's how we evaluate factorial notation using this formula. So every time you see this exclamation point, you should be able to perform the operation just like what I have showed you. So if you are interested to know what 12 factorial is, so it's 12 factorial, which means 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 all the way to 1. It's simply equal to 479 million. 1,600. And that's how we perform the factorial notation in some mathematical problems. Now let's use the factorial notation and evaluate the following expressions. So for letter A, I have 8 factorial all over 2 factorial times 6 factorial. Now to evaluate or to simplify your expression, you just need to expand each term 
by its factorial notation. So for 8 factorial, you have 8 times 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And for 2 factorial, you have 2 times 1. Evaluate 6 factorial, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, there are two ways on how to evaluate factorial. One, you can use your calculator, and two, you can just cancel some of the terms that are, that are alike. So for this particular example, I'm not going to use the calculator. I'm just going to cancel 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, so you're basically canceling all these numbers because all of them will turn into 1. And you are left with 8 times 7 all over 2 times 1. And 8 times 7 all over 2 is equal to 28. And that's how you evaluate factorial notation similar to example letter A. Now for example letter B, I'm going to be working with 2 factorial times 6 factorial all over 3 factorial times 5 factorial. Now to evaluate the expression, expand each number using the factorial operation so 2 times 1 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 3 factorial and 5 factorial now start canceling your terms right here so 1 2 3 4 5 will be canceled 2 and 2 will also be canceled I'm le left with 1 times 6 all over 3 times 1, which gives me 6 over 3, and 6 over 3 is equal to 2.